Hyatt's Game and Reynolds, so pretty happy about this right here. We only had one of our queen cups not be accepted and turn into a queen cell. There's 45 queen cells, um, potential queen cells, between these three bars. There's 15 to a bar. And this one didn't take. This one right here, and there's a couple others that are just a little too runny. Compare it to this right here. You see that this one right here is a little bit smaller. I like to cycle those out. Um, we really want the best queens. You have to be really careful not to drop these things. They're not at the uh, stage yet where if you turn them upside down, you'll damage their wings. It's still a bad idea to do that. Uh, once they start developing their wings, if you turn them upside down, they slide back and just barely bump that wing then they'll hatch out still, but they won't be able to go on mating flights. I'm going to open this one up real quick because it's it's a really runny cell. Let's just see kind of where we're at. Okay. Yeah, they're just now. Trying to get this open without damaging it too much. Do, 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 do. Well, there we go. They're starting to come. So they have even, they're just getting to that stage where they're extending themselves out they've consumed all the royal jelly that they're going to consume and then they're going to start spinning a cocoon and metamorphosizing in the cell and so they still got a few days to go it's amazing how quickly they will go from this into a emerging queen now again for those of you who don't know all it takes is for one of those to hatch out and she'll start going around and zapping her sisters talk about sisterly love right there that's why you know they talk about brother brotherly love as an example not sisterly love uh, what anyways so we're going to be doing more queen rearing videos and stuff like that i just thought i'd show you that pretty happy about these things this or these queen cells come from a very special queen she was mated in the summer of 2016 so this is her fourth season she's been laying in. However, when I went to check her to graph from her today, I found another queen in there. So she has raised herself a daughter. And they're both laying. They were on the same frame. It was really awesome. It's like the fourth or fifth time I've seen that this year. Those are the kind of genetics that we want. And that's one of the reasons why she's a breeder. That and the fact that she has produced a lot of honey for us in earlier years and that she survived this long so we're breeding for longevity we're obvi obviously breeding for a colony that is resistant to a certain degree of diseases and pests because even though we treat there are some colonies that just struggle with it a lot more than others and I do believe there's a certain degree of resistance that we can breed for um, within reason uh, there's a balance to everything um, bees are not unlike any other creature in the world and they have their pests and their problems just like I have to eat my salads and greens to help me stay healthy. Man, gone are the days of 15 and 18 year olds when I could sit down and eat 10 hot dogs and my body was like, you rocket fuel, baby. Not anymore. Two hot dogs and... Uh. Anyways, these special queens right here are going to help spread those good genetics throughout our bee yard and give us more uniform honey crops, colonies that are more resistant, just better all the way around and hopefully a lot more colonies that whenever that queen expires they don't kill the queen before they start raising one they allow their colony to raise a new queen allow her to get mated and then slowly um, get rid of the other queen as she, whenever she is too far gone so right now it's got two queens in that hive that is an awesome characteristic so hopefully in the future and we can help you all get to that point. It really makes a difference when you can either raise your queens or get them from somebody who does it um, the way that it needs to be done. Thanks for watching our videos. And if you have any comments or questions on all these awesome queens, leave them below.